Okay, everybody. A cylindrical tank is leaking water at a constant rate. After five minutes, the water level is 61 centimeters, and after 10 minutes, the water level is 26 centimeters. So on the grid prov uh, provided, plot the ordered pairs, time water level, and join them to represent the information. Okay. Um, now, in this case here, uh, just like with a lot of the questions that we've done, um, time, it makes sense for time to be the independent variable. So, whoops, wrong way. Let's go zoom out here. So this is going to be time, and this is going to be water volume. Okay, so this will be time in minutes, and this will be volume, uh, or sorry, I should say water level. Sorry, they give it to you that way as a level. In centimeters. So after five minutes, we were at 61. Okay, so five minutes, this is 61. And then over here, uh, actually, I should probably make more sense to drop that down a little bit. Here's 61. And then over here at 10 minutes, it's down at 26, so it's, it's quite a ways down. And then what we want to do, because this is going to be continuous data, we're going to drop, uh, sorry, connect those points, the nice line, to represent that data. So there we go. I do, it doesn't have to be super precise or accurate, just to get the sense of what's going on here. And you want to get the sense that this is dropping. Okay, it's got negative slope. So now the question is, this one here is, determine the slope of the line and explain what it means. Okay, well, we've got the two points here. Okay, we've got 5, 61 and uh, 10, 26. So our slope is going to be, let's say, 26 minus 61 over 10 minus 5. Okay, so 26 minus 61, I'm just going to do this on my calculator real quick because I don't want to screw it up, minus 35, and then 10 minus 5 is going to be 5. So that simplifies down really nicely to 7. Now, let's, whoops, sorry, wrong way. Let's talk about the units here, okay? This is in centimeters, this is in minutes. Okay, so our units here, change in y over change x, are going to be centimeters per minute. So what does that mean? Well, okay, this is the speed, the water level is dropping. That's what it represents. Okay, now, the next one here, compare the, complete the following. The water level is changing at a rate of, there we go, of negative 7 centimeters per minute. That's the speed that it's changing at. Okay, now determine the equation of the line in the form W equals MT plus B, where W represents the water level, okay, time in minutes. So right now what we've got is water level is equal to, well, we already know the slope is negative 7T. What we don't know is the, is the plus B. So I'm going to plug in the point, one of the points that we've got, and one of the points was the point 561. So 61 is going to equal negative 7 times 5 plus B. So 61 is equal to negative 35 plus B. Bring the 35 over, so I'll add it to both sides, and that'll be 96 is equal to B. So W is equal to negative 7T plus 96. Whoops, there you can't see it. What is the horizontal intercept, and what does it represent? Okay, well, the horizontal intercept is where the, the y-coordinate, or the, the dependent variable, is 0. So 0 equals negative 7t plus 96. Bring that over. 7t is equal to 96. And then we'll divide. And in a case like this, it probably makes sense to, to take it to the nearest decimal, or let's say nearest tenth here. And I get 13.7 when I go 96 divided by 7. And what this means is this is the time it takes to empty. Okay, time it takes the, the water level to drop to zero. Okay, let's keep going here. The next question is, what was the water level in the tank when it be began uh, leaking? Well, that's the y-intercept. And we just did that a couple questions ago. And we found out that that was 96. 96 centimeters, that's the y-intercept. Okay, and now finally here, a couple questions. Assume the cylindrical tank had a radius of 20 centimeters. Calculate the volume of water in the tank after five minutes and after 10 minutes. Okay, well volume is going to equal pi r squared height. So in this case here, that's going to be pi times 20 squared. And after five minutes, that was a 61. 
So I'll just do this really quickly with my calculator. Pi times 20 squared times 61. And the answer is 76654.9 uh, centimeters cubed. And if we do it the other way here, volume is equal to pi r squared height, where this is going to be 20 squared. And after 10 minutes, the height was 26. So I'll do that real quick on my calculator. 20 squared times 26. Uh, the answer in this case was 32672.6. Whoops centimeters cubed. So then it says, next one is calculate the rate in terms of pi at which water is leaking out of the tank. Okay, so I should have left the pi in there. So this was going to be, um, that's going to be, I should have left the pi in there. So 20 squared times 61. So this will be 24400 pi minus 20 squared times 26, 10, 4, 4, pi. We're just going to subtract that, 2, 4, 4, 0, 0, minus 10, 4, 0, 0, 14, pi, and that happened in 5 minutes. So if we just divide that by, by 5, this is going to lose 2, 8, 0, 0, pi per minute.